I was just editing the September snowball video using the snowball we have up there, which is July. But I just realized that the last video that I made was using the May snowball. Wow, I can't believe it. Where did this year go? Seriously, I feel like I say that every day. Where did this year go? Anyway, so snowball is from May through September, so it's covering four months. At the end of May, we owed $30,668.69. At the end of September, we owe $26,605.87. So we paid off $4,062.82. So that means it's about an average of $1,000 a month. At the end of May, according to Susie Orman's website, our debt-free date was April 2027. At the end of September, our debt-free date will be April 2026. So we have shaved off another year, supposedly. So where do we put our little family? Do we get to move up? Uh, yeah. to 28. Nice. So we got uh, over 600 bucks to get up the next step. That's actually better than I had anticipated. I thought maybe we would be paying off a thousand dollars total. That shows you how well I've been paying attention, huh? Bad. Considering that we had started to save money and save money for this move, um, so it felt like we weren't paying off quite as much as that. So that's pretty good. I'm happy about that. I am expecting it to slow down for real um, for the time being because we are getting ready to move. So we're going to have, even though we have saved money, it's not enough to cover, I think, all the things that we're going to have to pay for while we're moving. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I'm particularly worried about the October snowball. I've got some issues going on with my tuition. Hopefully they'll get resolved, but if not, it, October might look really ugly. Like, really ugly. Um... I'll talk about it later, though, because you never know. It might be fine, right? Hopefully it'll be fine. <laughs> I guess we'll have to see. Um, I want to say I'll see you guys next month, but uh, <laughs> I'm not in a position to make any promises. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well.